Hello and welcome to Sobricks. I'm Adam and this is Sobricks. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Lego Ninjago Dragons Rising Sora's Transforming Mech Bike Racer. This is set number 71792. It has 384 pieces and I paid $48 for this set. Now this is one of the brand new Ninjago lines, the brand new Ninjago seasons. Uh, these sets officially come out on uh, June 1st, um, but I was able to get some of these early, and uh, so we're going to take a look at them. I'm really excited. This out of the new line of Ninjago um, sets, there's there's many that I'm very very interested in. I don't think I'm going to get everything that releases with the Dragon Rising line, or at least the first release of them um, for this summer, but this one was definitely at the top of my list, so I'm really excited to take a look at this. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to open this up, I'm going to put this together, and then I'm going to review this set. So while I build, I will speed the video up, and then I'll slow it back down to give my thoughts. So until then, enjoy! Okay, so that is this new Lego Ninjago uh, Dragons Rising Sora's Transforming Mech Bike Racer. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, this was kind of the set out of this wave that I was most excited for. Um, there's a lot of good sets that are coming out, but this really, really caught my eye, and uh, it totally delivers uh, i think this is really really great um and uh I'm, I'm very happy with it it's super fun it's a really cool build uh it's a great model and um there's lots of play and uh yeah this is uh, this is pretty this is pretty great and it also makes me really excited for the other um other sets from this wave so I, i'm looking forward to checking those out as well uh, the first thing we will take a look at, like I normally do, uh, are the minifigures here. And I believe in this set we get three new characters. I think we get both of the new Ninjago characters and a new villain. I believe. I could be wrong because I'm not super, super well versed. But this is Sora. And this is an amazing min minifigure in my opinion. So, nice printing for the eyes up there, some detailing on the face. This is the new kind of uh, 
scarf mask piece there that is connected uh, also to the back so that's all one piece that holds the swords there super detailed printing on the torso with awesome gold accents in there that metallic printing really really nice great pops of color fantastic we get a nice printing on the midsection here and printing on the legs again with that gold and with the color there mismatched arms here including one gold arm with printing on the arm which is wonderful to see nothing on the other arm uh, and then there's printing on the back that is very good as well but we because we have the new piece on here uh, we can't see it this so this headpiece is one this is a dual molded headpiece here uh, which is really really nice and the colors match the um, the set very very well so that's a fantastic piece and I will take off the back piece just so we can see here without the scarf this is how Sora looks and we can see kind of that headpiece there we do have an alternate face maybe perhaps a more battle ready uh, Sora there so very good very good detail on the face and if we take a look at the back we get Sora's kind of logo I guess this cat uh, face grumpy cat almost good detail for the back more metal and or like the metallic gold there so really really nice minifigure I'm so glad there's arm printing here love the front of this torso love this headpiece a lot and as I mentioned this is the new kind of face mask piece that is you know molded together with um, the the equipment on the back to hold the uh, katanas there so uh, that's the new piece so Sora very very good minifigure then we have I believe this is another new character which is Aaron or Aaron um, and this one's okay uh, I think you know Sora was so so good but this one's still great it's actually a little hard for me to see because uh, of my color blindness but we do get I think this is a new element this sort of curvy whip this like uh it looks like a pickaxe almost or like a grappling hook uh whip element i don't know if that's new or not but uh, i don't think i've seen it before so that's the accessory there of course we get the same kind of mask thing uh that is connected to the back part here uh dual molded helmet or or headpiece there as well so that's very nice i will take that off so we can see the uh, head printing a little better here this is the scarf piece with the katanas in the back and Aaron or Aaron has good printing on the face good detail there no alternate face so now without the accessories we can see some nice detail up at the top good colors these are very close to me so it's hard for me to see all of them but printing on the midsection printing on the legs and down onto the feet a little bit there and then the back print we get a nice like dragon tail and uh and that's that so uh another pretty good figure but i, I like sora a lot better uh and then we have this is i believe one of the villains which is rapton i think this is a new character but i'm not positive this is really great look at that accessory dual molded sword here really really cool with the gunmetal gray and kind of the transparent orange that's an incredible piece i i really really like that uh accessory there and it can be wielded uh in a in a different way or clipped onto something down here as well as where the hand is so that's really lovely love that accessory very cool face print uh and nice hair piece good kind of standard shoulder pauldrons shoulder pads armor this is the alternate face here and uh I'm not sure what this character is is like or what they are supposed to be, so I don't know what the deal is 
with their eyes or lack thereof or what's going on with their mouth but it looks pretty interesting so that's really cool and wow look at this torso print tons of gold tons of fine line tons of detail almost has it's like a face kind of element on the torso there almost really really excellent printing on that love to see it got printing on the midsection tons of printing on the legs including down onto the feet here really good detail we get gold arms no printing on the arms and then at the back we get the continuation of that kind of armor and this is just terrific so i love this torso print i think this is really really excellent so that is very good and then we get this dragon this baby ryu i believe so it's really nice to get that i don't think this is a new mold but it may be and i don't know if this is something that's also in dreams or if it's in several of these ninjago sets i can't quite remember it may be not a new mold at all it may be something that's existed for a long time i'm not positive but uh nice to get the little dragon figure we can stud that down um no like posability or anything but uh good printing on there and it's uh it's pretty cool looking baby dragon so very cool really really nice figures in this set uh and i'm um I'm very pleased with all of them. I think Aaron could be a little bit better. I, I do wonder if maybe in one of, like because this set is like Sora's transforming mech bike deal, that maybe in another set there might be a uh, Aaron in a different... Um, in a different... with a different torso and with different legs. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. I, I just imagine that it could be true. Um, and maybe they would have a more involved one with some arm printing and stuff like that uh, in their own set or what I'm calling their own set. So uh, four figures, well, three minifigures and the baby Ryu. So, um, you know, I think that's that's pretty great. Uh, and I really, really like the uh, Raptin and the Sora figures here. I think those are excellent. I'll show the side build next. This is sort of a vehicle or a craft or a glider that uh, I think is for Raptin. It kind of fits their color scheme and everything here. Sticker on the Nexonite shield on the front. Little uh, handlebar yoke type thing here. A couple katanas on the side for extra detail in the gold. Maybe a little thruster at the back. Some nice angles created here. Um, and same up front and there's a place to stud them down. It's very simple, very rudimentary. Doesn't feel too fantastic it, but it's nice that for a set like this with this many characters it's nice for like maybe the antagonist to have kind of a side build to interact with more and look at that four stud shooters on this thing uh the gold stud shooters or tile shooters here four of them and i do like that you can have them on this angle here but you could also you know do them up like that and just kind of I imagine just like shooting them all at once or shooting them you know very closely in in succession there so that's really really neat and um it's a fine it's a fine little side build uh to you know add some narrative add some play and uh it's not super robust it's not crazy detailed but it's enough for a side build it's, it's enough so that's pretty cool and then we have the main piece of this set, which is this transforming mech bike. This is awesome. So I really love the colors. I was actually a little bit, I don't know, something in the, in the instruction manual, this kind of pinkish, orangish, salmon-y color here in, the, in my instructions to me looked like it kind of looked like dark bluish gray or something so but that was a little bit of a confusion for me but once i figured it out it was totally cool so i love that i love that color and i love how these colors are like the same colors that are on like sora's headpiece there i think that's really really nice so it just matches perfectly and actually like the gold and the white and everything this minifigure and this mech bike just fit so perfectly together so that's really really cool 
Um, so we have a, a this, this mech bike. We're in bike mode here. So we get three of these really nice tires, the dual molded tires with the gold inside. They all spin and this can roll and stay you know stand upright like this uh, we have a nice canopy piece where Sora can be positioned in here we do get some stud shooters there and uh, it looks like a super cool like sleek really nice uh, bike or trike or whatever so uh, the build is very very neat you pretty much build this in the bike formation uh, and then at the end it shows you how to transform it. It's a pretty simple thing to transform, but it's really really cool So I love the bike design here. It feels um, even though like there's some negative space back here and there's some It feels like there's some like appendages like for many angles when this is all tucked together and everything's um, Kind of in its resting position here I think it looks really cool uh, and so that's great and it can be gripped and it can be rolled around with and uh, that's excellent so I really love the the build here for for this I'll just point out the stickers here because there's a good amount of them uh, this Sora's logo at the front there on that slope with the cat that is a sticker um, and then uh, up here, these flags are stickers as well. On each of these pieces uh, is a sticker. Turning it over to the side, we have a sticker here, sticker here, sticker here, sticker here, sticker down underneath, underneath there, and around to the other side, we have those same kind of stickers over there. So a good amount of stickers, but they're pretty well used and they're not too terribly hard to put on. I don't love putting them on these kind of these side angled pieces, but anything that's on a Nexonite shield or just a pretty simple tile, um, I, I don't mind too much. I I'm, I'm, would like more prints, but... Uh, uh, especially something if it's going to be used in like other sets like a, a character's kind of emblem or something like that I would like to be printed but um, it's not too bad so there, there's a fair amount of stickers here's the sticker sheet uh, and so you know not, not terrible not great but I'm glad we didn't have to put a sticker on the canopy but there's also no printing on the canopy there so uh, that's that's that and uh, I'll show now that it can transform into the kind of mech position here. So um, these back uh, areas with the wheels here uh, are connected with these joints so they can rotate up this way. Then down at the bottom, these kind of pieces fold out. Those are on a ball joint. These pieces here, uh, the kind of now where the wheels are, are now legs can kind of flare out a little bit because of those joints that they're connected to and so that can stand there and the whole kind of head area torso area where the um where the character might sit under the canopy can be tilted down and then these can be flared out and bent like that and so those are kind of the arms there and those are on a ball joint up top and these can be flared out to kind of cover up that long thing there and wow look at that now we're into a a a battle ready mech and the sticker that was on the bottom when this was in bike mode is now right here and uh these stickers are still facing out we don't have any articulation like at the knee for example they use the uh kind of the new style mech uh, arms and, and leg pieces there hidden really really well and using the kind of Technic hole pin area to attach the wheels in a really nice way so this feels very sturdy it can walk it can run or get into some running positions I, I think um, and uh, maybe not it's it, it's a little tough but it can get into some action positions I think and it just looks awesome. I really, really like how it looks in, in the mech form here. 
Um, so that's really, really great. And then, yeah, then we also can take these out, these kind of blades here or, or accessories that were adorning the bike, and they can be clipped onto the arms a little more. So we have that uh, in addition to the four stud shooters again, four gold stud shooters, two on each arm here. And then if we want to switch back to bike mode, I would just uh, kind of put these arms in and the legs swing back really, really easily and back into bike mode. And I really like that this can transform, um, you know, with the character still in kind of the cockpit area or in the uh, in the mech and it can go from mech to bike and bike to mech without having to like take anything apart really or to uh, do anything so as far as play goes that makes that that transformation really really smooth really seamless really really cool and uh, very very fun so I really really like that um, and uh, I think this is this is pretty awesome. Uh, like I said, this was the one that I was, I think, most excited for, most interested in. So I'm very happy that I, I, I got this right away uh, and maybe early a little bit um, because this set, along with the rest of the Dragon Rising, I believe comes out on June 1st officially. But this is awesome. Uh, really, really cool. Really good figures. A fine side build. Uh, and an awesome main build that's a, a bike and a mech. Because we get four stud shooters or tile shooters and four on, on each build here, four on the side build and four on the main build, we do get a lot of the tiles as projectiles. So you would get eight of these orange ones for uh, pro... Uh, what is his... What is his character's name again? Sorry. Uh... Raptin, I almost said Proton, but Raptin. So we get eight of those plus an extra one that I put in the extra pieces. And then for Sora's mech bike, we get eight of these transparent, I think purple or blue, purple, I believe, uh, for Sora there. So we get eight of those plus an extra in the extra pieces. And now I'll show the rest of the extra pieces here. We do get two extra golden katanas as i mentioned an extra of each transparent for the projectile extra one by one uh, plates extra technic kind of bushing thing here extra uh, stud shooter trigger there and that's all your extra pieces i think this is an awesome set it gets me really really excited for the new wave uh and um it's a good kind of middle size set, I think, and there's tons of fun to be had here, and I think it looks terrific. So this set is 384 pieces for $48. So the price per piece is kind of weird. I mean, $48 is kind of an interesting price for Lego to, to do now, but I think they're doing kind of these everything's not at a, a five or a zero, you know, so now something might be $47 or 46 or 40, whatever. Uh, so this one's 48. Um, for 384 pieces, three minifigures plus a dragon mold figure here, a side build, uh, and this main build, lots of gold, three of the really, really nice dual molded tires with the gold on the inside. Um, so, the even though the price per piece feels a, a little bit off this seems to make a ton of sense for me about where it's at i think you know 40 dollars would be better uh sure or 35 great it would be like an extremely awesome value set then uh in the current state of, of things and with lego prices um yeah, 40, 45, sure, but between 45 and 48, that's not a huge difference, although it's still something, um, but this is, like, I feel like I got my money's worth here. I, while I think it should, I would like it to be cheaper, so it, it, it would be more affordable for everybody, and more people maybe could get access to it that otherwise couldn't, if, if that would be the case, I think... Um, you know, if it was cheaper, it would be better, but I'm not like 
I don't think this is necessarily overpriced. This does feel like I have kind of a a pretty substantial mech uh, bike transforming build here and a little side build and then really, really good minifigures that uh, I, I, think the, I think the value is there. I mean, I think the Sora and the Raptin especially are terrific. And um, this is a really good build. So while yes... I think I'll always kind of say, oh, Lego should be cheaper. Um, this is, this kind of makes sense. I think the value is here, even though it's $48 for 384 pieces. So uh, for me, this, this made a lot of sense at this price, and I can totally see where the value is. Great display, tons of fun for play, and uh, I had a really great time putting it together and talking about it so uh this is a great start to the dragons rising uh season of ninjago and i'm very very happy that i i got to put this together and to play with this so um thumbs up for me uh if you like this video consider giving it a like and if you like the other videos on my channel consider subscribing to it so you can stay up to date on all the lego videos i will be doing in the future including i got some more lego ninjago of the dragon rising uh, a little bit early uh, so i'll be covering that i have uh, several older ninjago sets uh, a ninjago legacy set and a ninjago i believe a crystallized set yet that uh that are are somewhat bigger that i have not talked about on this channel yet and um i'm really excited about those and so I'll have a ton of Ninjago coming up, but also just a ton of other Lego themes of different, you know, piece counts, prices, styles, uh, all different stuff. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And if you feel like supporting this channel in, a, in another way, consider joining me over on Patreon where I'm doing some exclusive content and early access to all my uh, videos and you'll get uh, access to you know Q&As with me and live streams and all types of stuff eventually over there. So um, consider checking that out. Every little bit helps and I'm very grateful for all the support so far far and I look forward to continue to uh, grow and, and do this and keep making Legos and, and talking about them and uh, thank you everybody so um, until next time thanks bye <laughs>